Matthew chapter 15, verse 29. And if I can just ask you before we start, you just keep us, me, in prayer. And Jesus departed from thence and came high, on, came nigh unto the Sea of Galilee and went up into a mountain and sat down there. So he goes from Tyre and Sidon back to Galilee. And he's traveling around. I, I, you know, I can imagine Jesus with all the walking they did and mountain climbing. I would assume that Jesus would have been a very muscular man for the exercise. And great multitudes came unto him, having with them those that were lame, unable to move, blind, unable to see, dumb, unable to speak, maimed. Well, I don't know what the difference between maimed and lame is. Lame is... And many others. So other kinds of diseases and ailments. And cast them down at Jesus' feet. <laughs> Put them down. I'm going through trials and tribulations right now. And it may not be diseases. But it's troubles and problems which lame, blind, dumb, maimed. They're troubles and problems. And I'm laying down at Jesus. And one of the things I just noticed tonight, Lord God forgive me, is I went out of control, went out of whack with, with something. I don't want to mention what. I need your grace and mercy. And I've already confessed something that I'm not good at. Never was. I thought I was doing good. But I need God's mercy and grace. And I was reading today my Proverbs chapter four, and I thought to myself, "Gee, what's gonna what what is January Proverb four gonna be? Are we gonna be an accumulation of today's troubles? They're gonna be new, afresh. These people are in trouble. They got problems. They got ailments, and they came to Jesus, and He healed them." Now, for the Christian, see, we're in Matthew. We're not in the church age doctor. I've had, I've had two wives. One died of breast cancer, and one died of lung cancer. You know how much I prayed for healing. It didn't happen. I know some of my family right now, they got cancer, lung cancer. You know how much I'm praying for them? Salvation does not guarantee instant and quick results, and it may be quite opposite. Salvation has even caused divorces, marriage split. It has caused a rip in the family. Oh, it would be nice to have Jesus present right now as he is in Matthew. But, you know, the situation in Matthew where Jesus is now is you're under the law. And you know what? Let me tell you something. You're listening to me. I don't know how often you listen to me. There are things in the law. I'd be going to hell. No grace, no mercy. I thank God I'm not under the law. And I thank God for grace and mercy. And so much that the multitude wondered, how's he doing this? When they saw the dumb to speak, the dumb, it's not dumb, it's you can't speak. The main may be whole, so main would be you're missing a body part. And the lame walk, you know, they're not using crutches no more or cane. And the blind see. And they glorified God of Israel.
It was God right there doing the healing. And Jesus called his disciples on him and say, I have compassion on the multitude. There they are. Because they continue with me now three days and have nothing to eat. I will not send them away fasting without food. At least they faint in the way, you know, fall out, die of hunger, get sick, worse. And the disciples said, And what shall we have so much bread in the wilderness as to fill such a great multitude? Did you forget the 5,000 in chapter 14? How quickly we forget the benefits God has bestowed upon us. When we are in itch, we are instant dilemma. And the dilemma is Jesus called them out and said, Hey, we got to feed them. We ain't got no bread. Forgetting what Jesus has already done. How many times have we gotten in trouble? Primary the same trouble. And Jesus said to them, How many loaves have ye? They said, Seven and a few little fishies. Well, back in chapter 14, they had. And they have five loaves and two fish. They got two more loaves of bread here. And they only got a 4,000 4, men plus women and children. And he commanded the multitude to sit down on the ground like he did before. He took the seven loaves, the fish, the fishes. Gave thanks and break them, give it to his disciples again, and his disciples to the multitude. And they did all eat and were filled. They took up the broken meat that was left, seven baskets full. Last time they had only twelve. They had twelve, I mean, excuse me. Well, how did they start off with two extra loaves, less baskets? Well, they forgot the blessing of God. They should have thought right away, let's feed the multitude. Hey, we did it before, Lord Jesus. You can do it again. Now, not get prideful, not get arrogant, not at the snap of the fingers, Jesus is going to do it. But we've been, this, been through this before. But they forgot that. And they that did eat were 4,000 men, 5,000 last time, besides women and children. And he sent, the multitude, he sent away the multitude, took ship, and came into the coast of Magda. Magda? Same thing again. It's, it's a repeat. And you know what? A lot of problems we're going to get in our life is going to be repeat. The problem I realized today I cannot do it again. I gotta be more careful. I have got to not have that temptation that I have. And I'm speaking to the Lord right now. And I'm pleading to the Lord right now. And I'm asking God to forgive me. I'm asking God to show me mercy and show me grace and I don't want to do that again. I'm just saying other things right now underneath my breath. Lord God, forgive me. For I'm a sinner. I'm in great straits right now. I've got five loaves of bread and a few fishes, and I need to feed a multitude. And Lord God, I'm weak. I've got diabetes. I got neuropathy. I got a bad kidney. I'm on disability 
trying to find work. Or a big calamity just happened right now. You've already forgiven two debts of this month. I gotta make some more phone calls, Lord. I'm, I'm two people listening. Lord God, forgive me. Not forgive me, okay, so I can do it again next time. Oh, look, look what Jesus, no, Lord Jesus. I ask that the Holy Spirit remind me each and every time today. I want the Holy Spirit to say, uh-uh. No, remember? And if you do, I'm going to spank your hiney. I'm going to chastise you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, please, Lord, get me out of this hole. Get me out of this pit. And you'll be the honor and glory. For Jesus' sake, I pray. Amen.